Well, first of all, I want to say hi to our uh, international teams, English speaking international teams, like uh, especially to the Canadian teams, Indian teams, and Ethiopian teams. Uh, this is, uh, I'm gonna do a very short uh, summary of what we talk about in the um, in the coaches meeting today so just to let you know I'm just going to talk about the three different uh, challenges where your teams are actually uh, registered so I'm going to start with bumper bot so Nigerian teams are in bumper bot uh, sorry Ethiopian teams are in bumper bot and just to let you know pretty much we just talk about what is in the rules just to uh, remind you, remember that you have to do the um, the the little um, the track. We also sent um, in an email. We sent as well a little um, print out, like a PDF that you have to print. Just fold it in order to put it in a visible way, in a visible spot when you are um, uh, showing your challenge. Okay. If you have some inconvenience with the time that we're gonna be doing the the live streaming, you have to let us know in advance to see if we can schedule it for later with a judge, of course. Um, right now, that's pretty much it. Remember that you cannot touch the robot. The moment you touch the robot, the challenge stops. The, we have to stop the clock. If you touch one of the cups, the plastic cups that we're gonna use, uh, we have to stop the time even if it's outside the track you are not supposed to touch them okay just because if it goes out and it comes back in by movement it just consider it's still inside so be careful with that okay we recommend maybe to have the track a little bit if it's possible to have a little bit elevator so it's a, like an elevator track like in uh, they do in sumo so when the cup goes down, it, it's not touching the track. That's one thing. It has a risk because the robot can get out as well, right? And can get stuck. So consider that. Okay, that's bumper bot. <coughs> this drill. Remember, this drill is uh, one of uh, our uh, synchronous challenges. <coughs> there we have. I apologize. So for uh, this drill, you you can have all the code you want loaded in the in the software because you don't know what is going to be the challenge the challenge will be published at uh for this drill we change the time 9 a.m uh, 9 a.m uh, colombian time which is uh, eastern time right now est we're in est right now okay uh, mi minus five g gmt Okay, now, um, no, that's it. Uh, remember, you have up to 90 minutes, but whoever does it the fastest is going to win. We recommend to record uh, the challenge with Bex. We recommend Loom. Loom is a, a Chrome plugin that you can just download. It's easy to install. It records on, on the web, in a cloud, in a website that they have, and you just share a link. Okay, so it's, it's easy, it's fast. You can also use Camtasia, you can use a uh, uh, screencast, whatever you want to use. Just be sure that you can record the send it as soon as you can, okay? Because that, when we receive it, we receive a timestamp and that's your initial delivery time. And we start from there. So if your timestamp is after 90 minutes, that's it, we're not even gonna look at it, okay? That's uh, this drill. We also have, um, I don't know if we have any robot sketch. Robot sketch applies pretty much the same things. Okay, so be careful. Be sure you look at the at the different um, uh, rules. Okay. And for um, colorant, colorant, we have uh, one team I think in colorant, Indian team uh, with Jay. So be sure in colorant, you cannot you cannot have any preloaded uh, any preloaded blocks. Or code or just copy and paste it no you cannot do that you have to write it or use or use the blocks right there that has to be very clear now it, um, 
the other thing you're going to do with uh with in coloring is be sure uh, to be a little bit earlier uh i think if we have an hour before it can be half an hour before the the actual challenge just to be sure your camera everything is working uh, can you use different uh, students to do the code live yes you only have two shots so you can have up to two students doing the code um we actually the best the best time is the one that actually wins okay uh bumper bot very important that i forgot to mention something remember bumper bot if we have two two judges we're gonna take the lowest time if we have three judges we're gonna take the one in the middle okay the 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 time the, the uh, like the time we have so we drop the the lowest one we drop the highest one and we leave the one in the middle but we try to give that benefit to the to the uh, um, to the teams just to let you know i mean you can take your own times yes usually judges times are a little bit better than the actual uh teams okay uh because sometimes when you take the time since you are paying attention to your thing and and this and that you're gonna be a little bit you're not gonna be able to do it on the spot and maybe the judges can so just to just to let you know that that's how what happened last time i think that's it if you have any any questions just send me uh, a message okay in the whatsapp um i think in the email you can see my my cell phone that's my whatsapp as well uh everybody whatever phone number you put in the registration form we're sending this information to that uh whatsapp number okay that's it bye bye